What's up everybody? Today I'm gonna take you through one of my favorite on the go single kettlebell workouts. I like to call this the kettlebell 300. You're gonna hit 300 reps of all these movements or 50 reps of six different movements as fast as you can with good form, all right? You can write your time down and try to beat that the next time you run this workout through. All right, this shouldn't take longer than 20 minutes. I also included a warm up and a decompression so you can recover strong, all right? So if you have time, please try to squeeze in the warm up and the cool down, all right? It's gonna make you feel a whole lot better after this workout and it'll get you warmed up. All right, let's get right to it. All right, so like I said, if you have time, please try to squeeze in this warm up. We're gonna kick it off with our ankle rolls. I'm gonna go one foot forward, one foot out to the side. From here, I'm gonna tuck my toes under and roll that ankle slow and gently. We'll go 10 reps each direction. Really kind of stretch that ankle. Pull to the side, try to round all over the place. Stay proud, stay tall. as much pressure as you want, only as far as you feel comfortable, all right? Don't crush your ankles, we're just trying to get warmed up. So one more each side. Good, now we'll go up into the knees, we'll go knee circles. I want you to drive your knees together, forward, out in a big circle, back all the way around, all right? We'll go 10 each direction. If you're feeling comfortable, roll over the outside edges of your feet. All right, only if you felt comfortable with keeping them flat first. You want to get deeper into this range of motion. Trail the outside edges of your feet. Let's go one more. We'll go backwards now. All right, we'll switch directions. Feel good, all right, now we're gonna go big hip circles. On this one, I want you to imagine like you're standing inside a barrel and you're trying to touch your hips to every edge of the inside of that barrel. I'm gonna hinge into one hip, try to drive that hip out as far forward as I can. Both hips, other side, back, all the way around, big circles. We'll go 10 each direction. You might find some extra tight spots. Feel free to spend some extra time in those areas. <sighs> Try to dig it up. Switch directions. We'll switch directions. Ten in this direction. Draw big circles. Really try to get in there. Get that pelvis ready to rock and roll. Try to come as far forward as you can. Oh. Sides, back, all the way around. Let's go a couple more. All 
All right, now we're gonna come up to the upper body. We'll go back stroke and front stroke. I want you to start here. Reach apart as far as you can, as much distance as you can from fingertips to fingertips, and then cut through. Big circles, 10 backwards, 10 forward. Maintain that width, that distance between palm to palm. It's all right to lay, let your hips turn. I'm focusing on drawing as big of a circle as I can. Switch directions. One more. And, and. Now we'll finish it out. Up into the neck, we'll go global neck stretch. I want you to go big circles with your, your head. Soften out, reach down through your fingertips, and then look into your back pocket. Chin to sky, look into the other pocket. Oh, your chin to your chest. We'll go big circles, 10 each direction. So breathing. Trying to release that tension up in my neck. Switch directions. Turn the other direction. And 10. Woo! All right, hope you're feeling juicy and ready to rock. Here we go. All right, for your 300 kettlebell workout, you got six movements, 50 reps of each movement. For your first movement, you got your kettlebell swing. You got 50 unbroken reps. If you absolutely need to rest, put it down, shake it out, rest your grip, and finish out all the reps. You got 50 swings. On the swing, here's what I like to see. I like to start in the hike position. No slack in the arms. I keep a nice, proud chest. I hike it to start. And then I keep it going, trying to throw the kettlebell as far forward as I can. Don't worry about how high the kettlebell goes. All right, if it comes up to about shoulder height, that's perfectly fine. But I'm really focusing on a powerful hip drive, lighting up the hamstrings, the glutes, and getting tall at the top of the rep. All right, I want you to maintain a nice, strong spine the whole time. No rounding of the shoulders. Keep that spine erect and strong. Core tight at the top of the rep. Try not to arch your back. Squeeze the glutes, keep the ribs down. All right, you'll start hurting your back if you keep trying to oh, do this and like try to overextend. Just really light up the hamstrings in that posterior position. Power through at the top. And your arms are just there for long for the ride, all right? Don't lift it up with your shoulders. Power through with the legs. You got 50 of those. After that, we're coming down to the ground. You're gonna go 50 offset push-ups. All right, you can break this up however you want. One hand on the bell, one hand on the ground. You can go here and switch, or you can bang out all 25 and then switch all 25 on the other side. Key points I wanna see is keeping that core tight, forward pressure over the wrist. All right, none of this. Stay nice and long from the heels 
to the head. Quality reps. If you're switching, switch nice and smooth. But give me 50 reps, 25 each side. Break it up into how, however many reps you want each side, but 50 reps total. After that, we're gonna go two hand horn squat. 50 reps here, grab the bell by the horns. I like to wrap my index finger over the top and tuck my wrist right into the handle there. All right, from here, I'm able to maintain vertical forearms, proud chest. We'll go 50 reps here, trying to drive the knees apart, staying as upright as you can. <sighs> trying to go quality reps by maintaining tension in the legs. I right, don't just drop down. I want smooth, slow and controlled reps for 50 reps. I like to even use the bell as a counterweight. If I'm kind of falling forward into my squat, I push the bell away slightly to help me stay a little bit more upright. All right, I don't want you falling forward into flexion. Stay proud and upright in that squat. 50 squats. After that, you're gonna go clean and press. 25 reps each side. You're gonna go here. Clean. You can use your other hand to guide the bell around your wrist. Press. You can do all 25 on one side or five or 10 and then switch, or you can alternate. Spiral, press, pulling down, all right? I want you to really focus on that press. So use your lat for support. Pull it down with control. Spiral around the wrist, press. You got 25 reps there on both sides. All right, you can go five at a time, 15, 15, 10, 10. However you want, but give me 50 total reps, clean and press. After that, we're coming down to the floor. We're gonna go grab the bell. I like to grab it by the mass of the bell. From here, L sit, get those legs straight. Kettlebell overhead, reach for the toes. Really try to get your shoulders off the ground. Keeping the arms straight the whole time. You're trying to light up that core. You got 50 reps there. Then for your final exercise, you got explosive kettlebell deadlift, all right? This one's super important to make sure you maintain structural integrity on that spine, all right? Try not to collapse. Keep that spine strong, explode, land with control, jump out of the hole. Notice. I'm not crash landing. I'm not letting the weight pull me forward. I land with control. I load at the bottom and explode as high as I can. 50 reps there, all right? You got those six movements, back to back, 50 reps each. If you can do them all unbroken, hats off to you. You're a beast. Otherwise, take your time, break it up into different sets. That way you have quality form, all right? 300 total reps. Let's get it. All right, I hope those 300 reps didn't crush you too bad, but to make sure that you decompress, you're gonna hit these stretches. Like I said, if you don't have time, all right, try to do these sometime at the end of your day. They're gonna help you feel a lot better. If you do have time, let's knock these out right now. All right, we're gonna kick it off with our spine wave. I want you to reach your hands out in front of you. I want you to articulate every vertebrae in your spine. I want you to sit back first, inhale, and then exhale as you shift forward, round your back like a scared cat. Inhale, extend, squeeze those glutes, chin to sky. Inhale here, exhale, chin to chest, round the shoulders, upper back, middle back, low back, sit back, inhale, and then exhale, move forward. Inhale. Exhale. Slow and smooth rest. Exhale. 
One more rep, inhale, and the end range is in the back. Exhale through the effort as you transition. Inhale at the top. Exhale. Let it all out. Now we're gonna go alternating arm thread on this one. I'm gonna go elbow up and back. I'm gonna pull, inhale, exhale, twist through. Keep those hips back. And switch, inhale, exhale. Inhale, pull. Exhale, reach through, pull the hips back. Inhale, pull. Exhale, reach. Inhale. Exhale. Now, we're gonna go alternating four scorpion on this one. Lie face down, arms out to your sides, bend one leg, and step right over your opposite knee. All right, don't take a big old step. I want you to be able to externally rotate that knee and open up that hip, pull that knee back, reach forward, and switch sides. Inhale, exhale, reach. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Four more each side. We'll finish it out standing. I want you to open up. Inhale. Exhale. Interlace your fingers. And open up your rib cage. Hitting our gun slingers. Inhale. Open up that mid back. And then open up side to side. Inhale. Exhale. Woo! I hope you're feeling better after that. I'll see you next time.